Thank you to Rural Assembly for this invitation to a gathering that spans every corner of the country. It's an honor to join a lineup of rural leaders, advocates, farmers, workers, artists, and storytellers that showcases the incredible diversity of rural communities and serves as a reminder that rural America is truly everywhere. Rural America is in the food we eat and the landscapes we cherish, in the stories of native people, immigrants, and descendants of slaves. It's in our rivers, roads, and rails, and the movement of people and goods that drive our economy. And, it's, and just as rural America has been a vital piece of our past, you will help lead us into a more sustainable, equitable, and prosperous future. From energy production and climate change, to innovations in mobility, manufacturing, and agriculture. Rural America is at the forefront of so many challenges and opportunities that we face as a nation. Rural communities are a high priority for the Biden administration. First, we're committed to ensuring COVID-19 vaccines get to rural areas. And as we begin to turn the page from crisis to recovery, we're investing in areas of critical need, such as healthcare, substance use prevention, schools, and housing. But what we must also look beyond the pandemic. We must build back better than before. The road to that more prosperous future runs through rural America, and the Biden administration stands ready to ensure we all reach it. At the very heart of that promise is a commitment to equity and inclusivity. And I know that rural assembly shares those values. The pandemic has painfully exposed the costs of inequity as marginalized communities across America have borne the heaviest burdens. But this is not some new reality. Indian country has long suffered with a lack of health care access and inadequate funding. In Appalachia, miners who risked their lives to power our economy have seen wealth extracted from the ground leaving nothing but a scarred landscape behind. Today, rural America is home to more than eight in 10 persistent poverty counties. These inequities span generations and require a generational investment. That's why the equity agenda is not only a question of policy, it's the bedrock on which we will build a government that serves all people. Equity boosts our economy, our towns, our very democracy. It's the opportunity for every child to realize the promise of America, from the Smoky Mountains to the Cascades. On day one, President Biden signed an executive order to embed equity across every federal, federal agency and ensure resources are not only reaching all communities, but also meeting their needs. For rural America, that means support for planning and capacity building at the local and regional level so that small communities have the resources they need to access federal programs. That means flexible funding so that every community can build on its own unique assets and ambitions. These principles are not just hopes and dreams. They're concrete actions woven through the American Rescue Plan and the American Jobs Plan the president understands that rural communities have missed out on economic growth and government investment for years, and he is determined to change that reality. The American Jobs Plan will transform how the federal government supports rural communities. The plan's proposed rural partnership program provides $5 billion in dedicated flexible funding to rural and tribal areas for locally led community and economic development. The program is designed to meet the needs of communities on the ground for planning, technical assistance, and implementation so that rural America is leading its own way into the future. Rural communities are racially, economically, and culturally diverse. There's no such thing as one size fits all. Whether you want to build around outdoor recreation, manufacturing, agriculture, or cultural heritage, it's time to reimagine an inclusive rural economy where the strengths of each community are reinforced and celebrated. 
The Rural Partnership Program is just one way we'll invest, we, we will address historic underinvestment in rural communities. The American Jobs Plan calls for upgrading rural infrastructure and bringing safe drinking water to every American. It invests in rural housing so that low-income homeowners and renters can secure a stable home. And it commits $100 billion to ensure universal access to high-speed, affordable broadband. These efforts build on the American Rescue Plan's investments in education, health care, and nutrition that are already helping rural families and workers get back on their feet. The American Rescue Plan also recognizes that not everyone has equal access to the opportunities of rural America. My great-grandfather, Pratt Suber, was a slave in South Carolina who, after the Civil War, managed to secure a piece of land. Though modest, he had the foothold he needed to become a successful farmer and a local leader, despite the cards being stacked against him in the Reconstruction South. The legacy of that land meant that two generations later, my father, Emmett Rice, was born into a family with just enough stability to allow him to dream what he could be. Although he grew up in the heart of Jim Crow, my father served his country during World War II with the Tuskegee Airmen, and he overcame the barriers of segregation to ultimately sit on the Board of Governors of the Federal Reserve. There's a clear link between my great-grandfather's plot of farmland and where I am today. But too many black, native, and other farmers of color are denied the opportunity to build wealth that can grow over generations. That's why the American Rescue Plan included $5 billion for assistance and debt relief for socially disadvantaged farmers and ranchers. That's why it included $31 billion for tribal governments, education, housing, and health care, the largest ever federal investment in our Native communities. These actions are long overdue, targeting some of the most enduring inequities in rural America. We still have a long way to go, but this is a historic start. While we work to correct past wrongs, we must also look to the future. The American Jobs Plan positions rural communities to lead the clean energy transition through partnerships with rural electric co-ops to replace old power plants with renewable systems. It creates 250,000 jobs, cleaning up abandoned wells and mines, and doubles funding for economic development in coal country so that no community is left behind. And it will make U.S. agriculture the global standard in net zero emissions, protecting the environment while opening new markets for our farmers. President Biden and Vice President Harris are committed to expanding rural prosperity through investments that respond to the crises of today and lay the groundwork for a stronger tomorrow. Rural communities can lead the nation out of crisis into a new era of inclusive growth, but we need your support to pass the American Jobs Plan and turn this vision we share into reality. Together, let's build a more equitable society where rural communities remain thriving places to live, work, and raise a family for generations to come. Thank you.